In this video, we will show you the registration process of the Sophos Firewall and how to do its basic setup via the wizard. For the demonstration purposes of this video, we have used the Sophos Firewall XGS87 model. Once you have unboxed the Sophos Firewall, make sure that the device has internet connectivity on its WAN interface, port 2, and connect your machine to the LAN interface, port 1. It will automatically assign an IP address to your machine in the 172.16.16 .16 subnet range. In some of the higher end models, you will see a dedicated management port available, so we recommend you use this management port by connecting your machine to that port for this basic setup. Ensure that the machine is configured with a static IP address in the subnet range of the 10.0.1.0 network as the management port default IP address is 10.0.1.1. Now, from the web browser, access the Sophos Firewall web UI using the default IP address 172.16.16.16 .16 over HTTPS port number 4444. Accept the self-signed certificate warning message and then it will show a welcome screen. Click on the End User License Agreement and Privacy Notice to read its associated terms and conditions. And once you agree with it, enable the tick mark option for the agreement and then click on the Start Setup button. It will start the configuration wizard process asking for a new administration password. Enter the new password for username admin and then click on the continue button. It will show the serial number of the Sophos firewall detected automatically as the firewall name. Alternatively, you can give any other name to the firewall as well. Then select the relevant time zone from the list and click on the Continue button. Now it will take you through the registration process and display the serial number of the Sophos Firewall device. Optionally, you can also skip the registration process temporarily and it will still allow you to use the firewall for 30 days. In this video, we will walk you through the registration process also. Hence, we will keep the Skip Registration option unchecked and click on the Continue button. It will then ask you to create a new Sophos ID for customer portal account creation or use the Sign In option if the customer already has created one. We will click on the Create Sophos ID button and it will open a new web browser tab and ask for the email ID that will be used to create a new account. Enter the email ID and click on the Send Verification Code option. It will send a code to the email ID, so once you receive it, enter the same verification code and click on the Verify Code button. After the verification is completed, click on Next. Enter the new password for the Sophos ID account and your first name and last name and click on Next. Then it will show the Sophos applications such as My Sophos, the Sophos Community and the Support Portal. Your Sophos ID account is created successfully at this stage, so you can switch back to the previously used Sophos Firewall Web UI tab in your browser and click on Sign In. It will automatically detect and show your email ID associated with the My Sophos Portal account, along with the serial number of the device. Complete the CAPTCHA verification steps and click on Continue. Then it will ask you other details such as the company name, country, address, contact number, and once you have entered those details, click on Continue. It will show the device details such as the serial number, device model, and assign the evaluation licenses to it by default. Click on the Confirm Registration 
option. A confirmation message will be displayed saying that the device registration is successful, and then click on Initiate License Synchronization. Once the licenses are synchronized, it will show various licensed features along with their expiry dates. Click on Continue. Then it will show the ports of the device and allow you to select or deselect the ports that need to be configured as LAN zone, and optionally you may also change the IP address of port 1 and its associated DHCP subnet range. We will keep these settings as is and click on Continue. You can use the network protection scanning for the traffic by enabling the tick mark for the required protection feature or configure it at a later stage. We will keep it unchecked for this demo and click on Continue. To send the configuration backup file of the Sophos Firewall device via email, you can specify the sender and recipient email address and enable the option. By default, it will use the built-in email server to send these notification emails. However, if required, you can specify an external email server and its relevant details as well. Click on Continue. Finally, it will show a summary of the entire configuration. Click on the Finish button. It will reboot the Sophos Firewall with the new configuration from the wizard. After a few minutes, once the device is up and running with the new configuration, it will show the login page asking for the username and password. Enter the username as admin and its new password and click on login. Once you have logged in, it will ask you to create a secure storage master key to encrypt sensitive information. Click on the Create Key button and set the master key to store your sensitive information securely in encrypted form. Once you have received the subscription or renewal license key for the Sophos Firewall, you can log in to the same Sophos ID Customer Portal account and click on My Sophos. Then click on Network Protection View Devices and click on the serial number of the correct device. Then click on the Add Subscription button, enter the license key in the text box area, and click on Verify to apply the license key successfully. On the Sophos Firewall Web UI, navigate to System Administration Licensing and click on the Synchronize button so that the new expiry dates of the license key are reflected on the device web UI as well. Feel free to check out the Sophos Firewall FAQ documents and its link has been mentioned in the description below. We hope you liked this video and thank you for watching.